This is, I believe, the longest suspension bridge in Europe, situated at 113 meters above the valley floor. That below is the historic Via Claudia uh, road, which was built by, started by Drusus and finished by his son, the Emperor Claudius. Completed in 2014, it cost eight euros to walk across and back. It was built at a cost of two million euros. And if you are scared of heights, don't watch. What I found when I was here yesterday is that I'm not scared of heights, but I do have a problem with balance. And I can feel it now. I've just started, I've got this far already and I've got a problem with balance. Why is that? I asked myself, uh, where, because when I went up to the castle earlier and I looked over the side and it was much, well, from this point anyway, it was much uh, <laughs> further down, I didn't have a problem. I think it's because the thing moves. That's the only thing I can suggest. Anyway, so let's walk across nice and slowly and see the traffic below. Now, as a lady said to me yesterday, don't look down. Well, I look down. There you go, look down. It doesn't bother me looking down. So it's not the height, it's a balance problem. Late, uh, he said to me in the, uh, yeah, uh, this morning, <laughs> different lady as well, she said, did, it, uh, did you have an adrenaline rush? And I said, no, I didn't really, but I did have a balance problem. Now, I think the balance problem was a sign of uh, age. I think as you get older, you get... Uh, more problems of this nature. Now, a, uh, when I went to have a um, acupuncture, I had a bad back. This happened in 2003, so that was 14 years ago. But the acupuncturist said to, that he thought there was something wrong with my balance as well. So I won't be doing any tightrope walking. Oh dear, I shouldn't have said that. That's made me feel frightened. Look at the views. Great, eh? But you can see the views in other films. Yes, I stood at the castle up there and and the one which you can't see but now but it's up there and filmed it it's great anyway continue on in fact I'll uh, go a bit faster So I'm standing still and there's not many people coming from the other direction but you can see the way the possibly the bridge is actually wobbling around which is a little bit on the frightening side in fact it's wobbling quite a lot now From here you can get a view of the buildings which make up the former toll area for the Via Claudia and there's the road below. Here they put the wire netting up higher, presumably to stop people throwing stuff over the side. Good idea if you ask me. The railway line below. Train just went across, but I only heard it, didn't see it. Now, the other side, well, this side I should say, there is a fortification called Claudia, which complemented the other two fortifications. We've got the one at the top there. We've just been to, and this one here. So today I went up to the top, 
and uh, then went all the way down to the bottom again, went to the museum, then came up here again. So I've had a fair bit of exercise today. So far I've done about 20 kilometers. Came here yesterday and I lost my ticket on the bridge so I couldn't get out. Well, just went back. Uh, as I didn't even fancy walking all the way around. I'll mention another thing whilst I'm here. It's this Alpin Termi, Edinburgh. Great, fantastic. I was there yesterday, five minutes from here, yeah, with you in a vehicle there it is. But not from here, from the other side. In fact, from, from your car. Outstanding. It was wasn't weather like that though in that picture. The weather was it was raining. And in the rain it was it was great. But here we've got this this room here which I thought was particularly nice. The uh with the with the open fire. Well it wasn't really open as it was closed but within a in a glass con uh, a window. It was really nice. That was the best best one of all but it was various types of sound. Superb. Okay, I'm gonna now check my ticket. I still, I've still got it and uh then I, I'll, I may go out and um, please see other films here from this area because I've got a lot of them. That isn't actually camera shake this time, that's how much the bridge is moving by. And there's only three people on it, so you imagine what it's going to be like when there's many more people on it. Of course, it's got to move a bit. If it didn't, it would uh, it would collapse. <laughs> it is a suspension bridge, after all. When you look at the bridge from this angle, it seems to be much more precarious. In fact, you probably wouldn't want to look at it from this angle before you walked across. <laughs> Fantastic. And, and it only cost two million euros to build. That's uh, something which I find really astonishing. I hope they didn't do it on the cheap though. And apparently, so they say, that they got the money back in the first year of operation. I find that a bit hard to believe. But if so, it shows how many people are coming here to Reuter and it's a great place to come to.